Today I'm going to share with you one of Tom's family's favorite recipes. As he was growing up, they would do the spaghetti pie. They would use Persatelli spaghetti, that's how it's spelled, and only Ronzoni makes it. This spaghetti is special because when you open it up, it looks like a straw. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hole in the middle. So I guess, you know, you could use it as a straw, but then everything you drink would taste like pasta. I don't know how good that would be unless you dip this into chocolate. That might be good. Anyway, I digress. <clears throat> Boil some water. Throw your pasta in there. Okay. And let that cook. Follow the directions on the box. It's only like 12 minutes. And while your pasta is cooking, prepare your baking dish. This is a 9 by 13 glass pan. And you're going to take some butter. Don't be afraid to use your fingers when you cook. If your hands are clean, it's okay. Take some butter and just spread it very generously throughout the pan. All on the bottom and on the sides. Now in a large bowl, you're going to crack nine eggs. That's right, you heard me correctly, nine eggs. To the nine eggs, you're going to add salt and pepper. garlic, some, I have fresh parsley, but you can use dry, and a generous amount of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Don't be chintzy. And actually, I'm going to add more salt and pepper and garlic, but it's Let's just do a little pinch of that. There we go. You won't believe how much uh, seasoning the flour soaks up. Now you're just going to blend this well. The flour, I meant the pasta. <laughs> you're going to beat the eggs and the, pasta, and the grated cheese, with all the seasonings. And drain the pasta. Before you add the pasta to the egg mixture, you just want to add a little bit because it's very hot. And like all the cooking shows tell you, you put hot item into eggs. You don't want scrambled eggs, <laughs> so you do it, you temper it, and you add it slowly. Now let's get used to that. Just going to mix this really well. Empty your pasta into your baking dish and any goodness that's in there. Empty that too. There you go. And on top, just level it out. Doesn't matter um, where the pasta goes, the spaghetti, the spaghetti goes. Just gonna level that out. And I like to add to the top extra grated cheese so it has a nice, lovely crust. Place your dish into your preheated oven, 375. Put your timer on for 45 minutes. Okay, after 45 minutes, take out your spaghetti pie. And the top is nice and crispy. Does it not look pretty? After it cools a bit, then you're able to cut it. So you'll make little squares out of it. I already pre-cut this. And you're just going to grab a little corner here. Now, here's the thing about spaghetti pie. It's very yummy hot right out of the oven, but my husband loves it best is when it's cold. So after you eat what you want, put the rest in the, in the refrigerator and just grab a square and eat it cold. Trust me, I know it sounds a little, you know, a little weird, but it's very yummy. And have fun in your kitchen.